Hello all, Andrea here with I Dream of Crafting. Um, earlier tonight I did a tutorial on how to make a Halloween candy bag. Here is the finished product. Orange inside. So, um, I hinted in that video that I would be doing something exciting in, uh, with the bag. And uh, since it is coming up on Halloween and I did make this bag specifically with that in mind, I will be putting this on the outside. Um, I think it's pretty cool. This is a I just searched Google images for a jack o' lantern, and this is the one that I like the best. So we're gonna go with that one. So yeah, the supplies you will need are a cutting board, perhaps a ruler. Could go either way with that one. A very sharp exacto knife. Remember when we're doing paintings or decals, this is your friend. Um, duct tape. I am going to be needing three colors for this. Two for the jack. Well, they're all for the jack lantern, but two for the actual pumpkin of it. And this glow in the dark tape will be a surprise. And a clear tape. And of course you are going to need your template that is to the size that you want it. And um, yeah, so that are that's all the supplies. So let's get Alright, so I'm going to start off by doing the stem of the pumpkin. Uh, the closest color I had was this tan color. I did have a brown, but I just thought it was too dark. So I ended up just going with the tan. Um, I decided to do this part because it, it, it's above, you know, the whole image and I just wanted to get it out of the way. I didn't want to have to cut around it um, to get the larger pump piece of the, you know, pumpkin out from under that piece. So I did that first, but I didn't put it on the, the bag right away. Um, this was kind of an impromptu thing, which is why I didn't show you the black tape in my intro. Uh, I just decided last minute to put these uh, black stripes on the stem because it did look, it did need something. So, so yeah, I'm just putting these on here. Uh, while we're watching this, how about a little question for you guys? What is your favorite candy for Halloween? Uh, my favorite candy for Halloween is, um, oh, what are they? Those chewy sweet tarts. Those are awesome. I love those so much. So, um, tell me what you guys like. And we will get started now on the largest portion of the image, which is the pumpkin itself. I had a little bit of trouble with the tape, but I didn't ruin anything this time, so. I need one more piece. It's a big pumpkin. So, yeah. We're just gonna cut this out here. I need a little bit more clear tape to hold down the image. And now we're just simply going to trace along the outside of the pumpkin to cut it out. Very carefully. Alright, now we're moving all that scrap tape. And now we're going to remove the matrix to release the pumpkin from the rest of the tape. And now we will work on putting it on the bag. So don't do what I do. <laughs> do not start from that side because you will rip it up. Um, do not start where your tape. Do not start where your tape is on top of other tapes. Um, start from the bottom so you're lifting all the pieces at once. So I'm just peeling that back because I want the stem to be underneath the pumpkin so it looks, you know, like it's on top of it instead of coming out from the front of it. Now we're going to use the glow tape because a jack-o'-lantern has to glow in the dark. So I didn't want to waste this tape because like I said this tape is very expensive. So I'm using as little as possible 
I'm trying to get those eyes out of one single piece. And um, I really don't know how I did it, but I actually got the mouth out using one piece as well. I didn't have to layer. So I was very happy about that. I did not want, I was not going to be happy if I had to layer that piece of duct tape, of glow in the dark duct tape, just to get a little piece of the mouth out. I would, I was not going to be happy. But I am very happy because I didn't have to do that. So that is what we were going to do, be doing right now. Um, we're going to be cutting this out because it just made it easier to see where it was going to line up on the tape. So I'm just cutting that. And it, it came close, but I was able to make it work. So if you're working with the glow-in-the-dark tape, especially with something like this, where you're cutting out shapes, yeah, be thrifty. You do not want to waste, you know, very much of this. Alright, so. And you really gotta push on this tape, especially if you're cutting through um, paper and tape on top of it, because it will not... It's, it's very thick to cut. So you really gotta cut through it. So now we're just gonna pull this up very carefully and place it on our jack-o'-lantern. And I was, you know, I really wanted to use that piece right there, but it just didn't look right. So I'm gonna save on, save it and see if I can use it for another, you know, drawing. And now something new. Um, I'm gonna use this red sharpie um, to draw in the lines you see on that picture. Um, I did try to do this with duct tape, but it just wasn't working out, so I figured I'd do it with Sharpie. Uh, this is something new. You haven't seen me guys see you guys haven't seen me do this before. So um, the Sharpie will not rub off, especially given enough time. So I just simply freehanded this, and I liked how the red looked. All right, that is the end of the time lapse. Here is our finished product. Um, in a second, I will. Uh, turn off the lights and show you what it looks like. I had to tape record that on a separate clip because for some odd reason my webcam would freak out when I stood up. So um, I really hope you enjoy this time lapse. Um, if you did, if you thought it was cool, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.